Hi, I'm Tom from Heroic Labs, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to set up a Nakama server project using Lua. Before we get started, let's run through the steps we'll take to set up our Nakama server. First, we'll write a bootstrapper file, which will serve as our module's entry point into the Nakama server runtime. Second, we'll write a simple health check RPC, which will return a success true value back to the user whenever the client calls it. Next up, we'll write our Docker configuration files. This includes the Docker file, docker-compose.yaml file, and we'll also write a local.yaml file to configure our Nakama server instance. Once the configuration files are in place, we'll run the server using Docker and then verify that it's all working using the Nakama console. Okay, let's start by opening up the terminal and creating a directory for our project. We'll call it Lua Setup Demo. Let's navigate into this folder, and then we'll open Visual Studio Code. Before we begin writing our server runtime code, it's worth mentioning that unlike when using Go or TypeScript, we do not need to download or install any additional packages or modules when using the Lua scripting language. However, unfortunately, this also means that when using the Lua scripting language, your IDE won't be able to provide you with any code IntelliSense. So in order to counter that, it's worth having the function reference documentation open, which is available from the Heroic Labs documentation website. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. With that being said, let's create a new file called main.lua. In this file, the first thing we're going to do is get a reference to the Nakama module. To do this, we'll say local nk equals, and then we'll require the Nakama module itself. Now, as I mentioned before, the Nakama module isn't something that we specifically download or install when working with Lua. It's actually provided by the Nakama server at runtime. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to log out to the server console that this Lua module has loaded. To do that, we'll say nk.logger underscore info and then we'll pass it a string. We'll say Lua module loaded. Now we can begin implementing our simple health check RPC. This will be a function that the client will be able to call and it's simply gonna return a success true value back so that we know that the server is functioning correctly. To do this, we'll write a function by typing local function. We'll give it a name of health check underscore RPC. And this function will take two parameters. The first will be a context which contains things like server environment variables. And the second will be a payload. Now this is an optional parameter that the client can choose to send if they need to provide any further data to the server. The first thing we'll do in this function is log out that the function was called by calling nk.loggerinfo. And then we'll simply say health check RPC called. And then we'll return that success true value back to the client by calling return nk.json underscore encode and we'll return an object here with one key called success and a value of true. Okay, so now we've got a health check RPC function, we need to actually register that with the Nakama server. To do that, we'll say nk.register underscore RPC. We'll give it the name of the function, which is health check underscore RPC, and then we'll give it an ID. We'll call this health check underscore Lua. So with our bootstrapper and health check RPC in place, it's time to start adding our Docker configuration files. These will allow us to use the docker compose command to spin up an instance of the Nakama server as well as a Postgres database in one simple command. The first configuration file we'll create is the local.yaml file. This serves as a configuration file for the actual Nakama instance itself. Now, there's a whole host of different parameters that you can provide here to configure the Nakama server. If you wish to learn more, I'll leave a link in the description below to where you can find all the possible configuration parameters. However, in this particular instance, we're going to keep it simple and we're just going to define the logger level. So let's type logger level and we'll give it a value of debug. With that done, we can move on to writing our Docker file. Let's create a new file here and call it Docker file. If you're unfamiliar with Docker, I highly recommend you go and check out the official Docker documentation and read up on what it is and how it works. It's quite a large topic, but it makes running Nakama a breeze. The first thing we're going to do in our Docker file is tell Docker what base image we'd like to use. In this instance, we'll say from heroic labs slash Nakama, and then we'll give it the version of 3.3.0. Then we're going to copy across our local.yaml file and our main.lua file. To do this, we'll say copy local.yml, and we'll give it a path of Nakama slash data. And then we'll also copy across our main.lua file and we'll copy that to nakama slash data slash modules. With our docker file ready, it's time to add our docker compose.yaml file. 
This file serves as a configuration for the docker compose command, and it's quite an involved topic. So in this instance, we'll use a pre-made one from the Nakama project template repository. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Let's create our docker compose.yaml file here, and let's paste in the contents of the pre-made file. With our docker configuration files added, we're ready to spin up the Nakama server. To do this, let's open up our terminal again and type docker compose up. This will begin downloading and building our images. And you can see here that it says startup is done. To verify that our server is working correctly, we can open it up in the Nakama console and inspect the RPC. To do this, let's open up a browser and head over to 127.0.0.1 colon 7351. This is the default address for the Nakama console. And we can log in with the username of admin and the password is simply password. Once we're here, we'll head over to the account section and we can see the system user ID here. Let's click on that and copy that. Head over to the API Explorer section on the left. And from this drop down here, we're going to choose the Health Check Lua endpoint. Let's paste in our user ID and hit send request. And you can see here that we've received a single object with a success key and a value of true. Perfect. Let's wrap up by running through what we did. First, we wrote our modules bootstrapper, which serves as our entry point into the Nakama server runtime. Next, we wrote our health check RPC and registered it in the bootstrapper. Next, we added our configuration files. This included the local.yaml file for the Nakama server configuration, our docker compose file, and our docker file. We then ran our server using the docker compose up command and verified that it was all working using the Nakama console. And that's it for this video. You'll find all links to the appropriate documentation listed in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.